Well, um, about that, uh, I kind of, sort of, borrowed it. A, a man was stranded and needed help. No one seemed to be around to pay. I didn't know what to do. I'm sorry. Well, you can always leave a tip on the counter. That does make me feel better, though. Honesty is a virtue I admire. I'm just glad I don't have to lock the door anymore. Tell you what, buy a pie from me, and we'll be square as a napkin. Figure out what you want. Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. What's today's special? Oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered. And I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, tell you what. If you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. Good day. Have a crepe day. The sign read, ask us about our free samples. the delivery boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, hush feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He appears to be a compassionate gentleman, but he is clearly out of his convent zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosity, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. How can we help? Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham, Graham, with a G, I assume. Hmm. I don't see your name on this list. Well, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. 
Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for knight jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. I might not fit in here, but Aventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast, but rules will pen for those who can outsmart the rule-makers. So, I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening! Oh, well, oh, well. Oh, well, we're still working out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. How's that teeth whitening potion coming? Well, we're still working on it. You can dip whatever you want in it for free. No guarantees it'll come out white, though. Fare thee well. May your cap be one of thinking. Wish that teeth whitening potion would have worked. I'd never brush my teeth again. I'm not sure that's how it works, sweetheart. No one should notice one bell missing. The announcement board was covered until round two of the tournament. King Edward gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man, and he left me with a daventry to grow into the kingdom it is today. Better stand on this side of the rock. It wouldn't budge. Ha, what a peculiar trap. All right, sugar shrooms.
That didn't need a bell. I think... Pick, pick, pickety pick. Seems I never waste food. Sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you can find me the starberries, she's all yours for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. I only accept payment on delivery. Bring me the missing ingredients first, then pay me. Now that's bold. You don't even know what you're buying. No matter. I'll gladly take your money and give you my gardening tool. It's the only thing you can afford. Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? I did. The bold costs a fortune. Now, Graham, promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Those plants will never see it coming. Please be careful, these items are sharp. Bye. Don't forget leg day. are always good for a distraction or two. What wisdom can we share today? Fare thee well. May your shoes point you towards adventure and click whatever...